Hello, hello guys! <laughs> Welcome back to the stream! <laughs> I hope you are doing well. <laughs> what do you mean I'm a slacker? You are the slacker, Death Crow! <laughs> Sorry about the delay guys, I had an issue with my uh, GPU, or at least I should say with the latest NVIDIA update. Yeah, well, I know I could I could deactivate it, but I'm I'm way too, um, too lazy for that. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, I had a small issue with the... Um, <coughs> with the GPU uh, and more uh, precisely about the latest NVIDIA driver that screwed up all my PC for some reason. Uh, well, for some reason not exactly because uh, we all knew uh, our dear friend uh, um, NVIDIA, they love to screw up all their, um, all their updates. So I just rolled back. Hopefully it won't uh, it won't crash. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so let's switch AMD. Yeah, well, uh, the day I am switching to AMD for for GPUs, that's the day where AMD will do something better than physics. So that day is not yet. But uh, let's just switch to the live scene, shall we? All right. There we go. So. Tonight, I tried a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> um, we are inside the new, the brand new Bonanza as Hotel Bravo Sal, um, the, the, the Beechcraft Bonanza from Blask Square. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm on the clock and getting nothing, so may have to go at some point. No worries, Death Crow, you do what you have to do. Oh, there is a lot of noise. Oh, interesting. Tutu is in news. But oh, that's a Swiss. Let's go back inside. Just to avoid any... Uh, <coughs> um, unnecessary... Uh, noise. Let me reduce a little bit my microphone because I see that it's going... Ooh, way too high. Um, Alright, so SIM Connect should be on. Let me put that here also. We are Auto Bravo Sal. And call sign is Auto Bravo Sal. Uh, we are not doing that much speed. It will be 190, I guess. Fly now. And connect to MSFS. Hello, Spoff. Welcome, welcome to the channel. My name is er Amaruk. Let's see. Yeah, it is a payware. Uh, so apparently it is not connected. Let me let me refresh that overlay. There we go. There we go. Hotel Bravo Sal. And Nice to Geneva, so I need just to do the V pilot here, otherwise, I will be in a bad situation with uh, our dear friend uh, from uh, French Vac, and I don't want that. Um, we'll put LFLL as an alternate, that's uh, no big deal. I put the time at 7. Let me lower. Lower a little bit the music because that's way too high. Um, let's see. So uh, I put the weather. Let me check again the weather here. What is the time? Six UTC. Okay, so we'll say zero six thirty. Uh, time in route should be one hour and twenty five more or less. Um, where is my iPad actually? Hold on. I need my iPad for the um, for Sky Demon. That's what happens when you have issues and you are starting everything <laughs> by stress. So I'm thinking of trying to do my own liveries again. Ooh, that is interesting. Any idea what uh, which aircraft you want to try first? Uh, let's see. So let's start again here and. Let's open Nice to Geneva. 
Uh, let me also do aircrafts. Let's sink. So I have the Bonanza one. So normally all that should be correct. Looks like to be the case. So it was a 1 hour 26. Yeah, there is only the weight here that is uh, not correct. Oh, stand by. Let me uh, let me open again Sky Demon over here because I think it didn't catch the, the correct one. Yep, that's the one. Save as Geneva Nice. Okay. Let me reload that. Boom. How long have you been into flight simulators? Uh, about uh, one year and a half now. Uh, started with MSFS 2020, actually. Uh, I was aware of uh, all that, uh, that it existed, but I never tried it. So that's a bit of premiere for me compared to others that are uh, that played with P3D and x for quite a long time now. Been four months since I asked someone to do the Wilga for me and nothing so. Oh, okay. Uh, did you ask me? Uh, if so, I'm sorry then, <laughs> if I didn't do nothing. But for planes, going to start with the G3C Cup, something basic so I can get a feel for it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, we have fuel for 2 hours and 20. Uh, cruise speed, let's see, what would be the cruise speed? Uh, as I said, I had to rush a little bit everything, so I'm forgetting a lot of things. Uh, nice, uh, I will definitely have no more ATC at the end, that I know, that's for sure. The cup doesn't get enough love for liveries either. Yeah, that's true, that is true. I don't know exactly why, is that because the, the aircraft is not good or... I don't know, actually. That is... Um, this is interesting. Yeah, well, that, that's not a big deal. I mean, I, fl I fly uh, with the Cessna 155, uh, 152. Uh, it's 95 knots, so that's not very much faster though. So. Uh, VFR Nice Geneva, there we go. There we go. Um, what I wanted to check with that was... Raise V pilot again. Yeah, was the the, the 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 speed 160? Let's say 165 here. Maximum cruise altitude will be 9,500 feet. And we are departing from Nice to Whiskey November direct. No, let's say uh, route Whiskey One because that's the name of the route. Uh, then we go to Tignes, then to Castillon, Castillon Lake. Direct, uh, we'll take Barcelonette. Ba ooh, ba ooh, Barcelonette. Yeah, I know the name is very stupid. This all seems complicated. Uh, what I'm doing right now? No, it's not complicated at all. Uh, well, I mean, if you don't know VFR, yes, it is maybe complicated for the first time. But uh, it's actually very straightforward. It, it just takes time maybe to uh, to get uh, what you need to write, but... Uh, La Mur Grenoble Direct... Uh, oops. Yeah, let's go with Chambéry already. Uh, direct Annecy. Then direct Sierra Whiskey. Direct Root Whiskey. Direct uh, Geneva. There we go. So time is set to 6 a.m. UTC, VFR Chas, Sky Demon. We are not flying with that one. We are flying with Black Square. With Black Square Bonanza. And we are streaming on Twitch. File the flight plan. There we go. Flight plan is filed. All right, so I need a checklist over here. Because I have no idea how to start that engine, uh, so we'll see. 
the G3C is a good tail dragger. Oh, I see. I see. You you kind of like very much the tail dragger, isn't it, uh, Death Crow? <laughs> All right. So we should be fine now. And I have yeah, I have good. Um, I have good. Um, what's the word? Ah, I don't know any more of the words. Uh, good performances, Jesus Christ. All right, let's go to the before start checklist. So we'll pretend that the pre-flight is done, but yeah, it, it's mainly looking if everything here is set. So there is a lot of things that I didn't set uh, with my um, Spadnex profile because I didn't want to waste too much time. Yeah, looks like we are okay. Uh, sit, seats and seat belts are secure. Cabin door are large. Parking brake, uh, that's that thing, is set. Uh, hold on, let me check also that. Yeah, that's working. That's uh, always good to see. Uh, emergency gear handle. I like vintage, most vintage are tail draggers. Oh, I see. Uh, emergency gear handle. Where is the emergency gear handle? Oh, is that here? No, oh, that's alternate static source. Let me check. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's very far. Okay, well that's that's stowed. Uh, avionics breakers, they are all here. The avionics, they are all checked in. Yeah, they seems to be checked in. Those ones here are all good. Is there anyone else that I'm missing? No, looks like not. All right. Uh, flaps are up. Let me check that. So flaps up, oxygen pressure. So it should be, I guess, around here. Here, oxygen pressure. Around the, the, the 1500 and 1800. Avionics are off. The boot, the button is uh, normally over here. Here, master avionics, they are off. Uh, throttle is closed. Uh, propeller will be full RPM, extra full reach. All right. Coal flaps, they are open. Finally, someone who fought to put the coal, the open and close. Otherwise, it was very difficult. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Hold on. I, I think I. Yeah, I have no water. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna refill my bottle first. There we go. Ah, so, <clears throat> where was I? Yeah, coal flaps. So finally someone who thought to put the open and close uh, text because that's always very difficult. Uh, Elrond trim, that's that one, it's centered. The alternate air is normally, yeah, here, it's off. Firewall, that's that one, it's pushed. Landing gear is checked down. All sub panel switches, that's those things here. So let me put. So off, off, off. Off, off, off. Yes. We are all good for now. Load meter is here on primary. Uh, main breakers are all in alternate static air. Uh, alternate static air. I know that's not that far. Where's the alternate static air? Oh, I think that was that thing here. Yeah, that's uh, in normal position. CO detector. What is a CO detector? Oh, that's that thing. 
yeah that's working for sure so fuel tank that's the ones here down so before doing that we need obviously to do the weight and balance first so in terms of fuel um so what kind of airplane is this uh, that's a tube prop actually that's a tube propeller and uh that's uh, way faster obviously than the Cessna 152 because i can go uh, uh, i can reach 170 uh, knots which is uh, obviously 230 kilometers per hour or something like that i think uh, so it's quite fast i have 150 um 150 uh, liters of fuel uh, which means that I need uh, 125 on... Uh, no, 125, my god, Jesus Christ. Um, I need 75, sorry, on each. So that's about right already. So I'm not gonna touch any more here, so that's uh, halfway. And here we are 77, 75. And for the others... Yeah, that's the front ones. So there is a 65 and a 50. So we are four passengers. And in terms of baggages, we have five kilos. So 1,354. Yeah, okay, I'm not exactly correct with that, but uh, I assume that's good. Isn't it just a regular prop, though the V35 is a regular prop? Uh, no, I, I believe it's, it is labeled uh, as a troop prop. Also, I gotta go, I'll be back. Yeah, no worries, uh, see you in a moment then. So, ooh. so we'll put on the fuelless tank, uh, which is... Oh, I cannot... Uh... Oh, okay. I see, interesting. So... We'll go with left. That's the fuel S tank. Uh, we'll not put the beacon yet. We'll turn on the, the battery. So battery master here will turn that on. Um, bus volt. Where is the bus volt? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I have 23 volts minimum. Let's do the... Ah, come on. Let's do the annunciator. Yep, all good. That's normal. Uh, primary alternator. That's uh, that's that one, I believe. Hold on, I have a button for a button for that. Uh, standby alternator on fuel quantities so the fuel are here halfway that's good auxiliary fuel pump i'm pretty sure it was around here yeah it's on low oh yeah we hear the uh the sound standby zero pump on Yeah, the annunciator is eliminated. We can kill it then. Uh, instrument air. Well, they should be in the green. Yeah, they are in the green. Standby, your pump off. Uh, hold on. Oh, that's okay. So hold on. Yeah, it's going in the green. So we are all good. All right, that was the before start engine. So what I'm gonna do now is turn on the avionics because I need my radio. So continue, continue. Uh, so what is the frequency of the 80s? 129 or 625? Oh. system test, okay. Oh my God, it killed my ears. Uh, let me check the the volumes here. Volume mixer. Let me check that. Yeah, that's way too loud. 
and the pilot let's put it a bit higher all right let's switch delta all right that's delta bonjour this is nice coke daza airport information delta recorded at two zero 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 utc expect rnpd two two right arrival runway two two right departure runway two two left two departures left. S E V E N X. transition level seven zero Wind 250 degrees, 16 knots, cat OK, temperature plus 16, dew point plus 7, QNH 1004, confirm on initial contact that you have received information Delta. Alright, that's information Delta. Uh, I always saw in movies that airplanes have all those dials and things and wondered what they measure and control. Well, all those... Uh, control quite a lot of things so that one is for the speed as you can see it's called airspeed so the big letters that you see here and those one here are my my the airspeed that I'm registering the one that is over here is what we call the true airspeed so it's it's um, it's my speed with winds considered um, so if I have for example winds in my back pushing me forward I will have, for example, uh, at a certain altitude and temperature, I will have probably more uh, th that card here that will, as you see, it will move. So my airspeed should, could be indicating, for example, 160, but I could do 170, for example, in true airspeed. So I will be faster than, than what my needle is actually showing me. That one is the horizon, so it's uh, helped me to know if I'm actually um, uh, stable and not turning left or right that's my altitude so quite straightforward that's my vertical speed so that's uh, indicating if i'm climbing or descending that one is for the radio navigation so when i'm tuning what we call the vor uh, which is uh, a radio emitting um, waves i should say um, there is uh, one that, uh, for example, I know where it is, but not how, f how far it is. And there is one called a DME VOR, and it lets me know where it is compared to my position and his position and how far it is from, uh, from my position. That one is to know also if, um, uh, if I'm stable. That is for the altitude when you are landing. Uh, for example, you know, when you are landing on an airport, uh, you always have a value called uh, the, um, uh, what's the word now, called the ILS uh, minimum. So that's, that's uh, actually a value that lets you know at which point you can still do what we call the go around. If you pass that value, technically you are supposed to land, technically. There is always uh, something a bit different. Uh, that one is also uh, like this one. It's a VOR also, so that's uh, just uh, a backup, if we can say that like that. And um, all those gauges here, for example, that one is uh, for the pressure. That one is for the RPM, so that's the propeller. So really that one, uh, I can control it with the blue one here. Uh, fuel flow obviously will depend on the throttles so if i'm pushing f more forward or less i will have uh, i will consume more fuel of, of course that one is linked with the engine that's uh, the temperature of the engine and that here is the temperature and the pressure of the engine and that's just redundant uh, information over there so we know that we have a uh, delta for the 80s. Um, I don't know if I need to go to de delivery. No, I, sh I should go for uh, ground technically because delivery is, uh, is normally for, um, for the others, the IFR, but we are doing a VFR, so we don't care much about that. But let me check just in case. Because it is probably written somewhere. Yeah, we, you know what? Let, let's go to ground and we'll see. If he asks me to go to delivery, we'll go to delivery then. Uh, one, two, one. 
700. Uh, Tango on your left. Alright. Alright, copy that. That's a um, mark Tango. So we have information Delta and we'll ask a VFR clearance to Geneva as file. And we are Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima. Je vais être sur le golf de seul bonsoir, mais on retourne au passage à pouvoir face au sud sur Charlie, QNH 10 04. On repoussage face au sud sur Charlie et QNH 10 04. So hold on, let me do the, the QNH also. Very important. Calling 54 Lima Papa, contact to her 118 decimal 7. Bon vol et bonne soirée. Number one Alpha uh, Number One Alpha holding point Sierra One Cuesta FG parking. Number one Alpha White and Uniform Taxi Gate uh, Taxi Parking Kill. Say again number one alpha. Number one Alpha White and Uniform, taxi parking queue. Uh, parking queue, number one Alpha. Um, is it some my Tango? We took the wrong turn. Can we do the right turn on Uniform, then back to Tango, please? Is it some my Tango, uh, next White and Bravo, and White and Tango to Gulf, Gulf 1? Next to right, Bravo, and then Tango to Tango 1. Is it some my Tango? All right. Uh, let's call him. This ground. Bonsoir. Tel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima radio check. Tel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima Nice Sol. Bonsoir. Radio five. Radio five by five two and Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima Bonanza at the stand one seven one request VFR clearance to Geneva Asphalt. We have Delta on board. Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, contact uh, NIST delivery 121-775. We'll contact delivery 121-775, thank you very much, Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima. Alright, so we need to go to the airport. Can you guide me to the Mike, uh, clear right. to destination via the base 7 x ray That's really cool. Runway to it's a pre flight check up for the airplanes, too. More or less, more or less. It depends of the aircraft, but uh, uh, com more complex uh, aircraft like this one takes more time, obviously, because you have a lot more things to, to check. He's a bit loud. November 737 Mike, read back is correct. Call back when ready for start up. Report ready, start up, number 3, Mike. Nice delivery, bonsoir, Hotel Bravo, Sierra Alpha Lima, radio check. Hotel Bravo, Sierra Alpha Lima, bonsoir, radio 5. Radio 5 by 5, 2, and Hotel Bravo, Sierra Alpha Lima, Bonanza at uh, the stand 171 request. We have our clearance to Geneva Asphalt, we have Delta on board. Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, um, VFR flight is approved. Squawk 7001, QNH 1004, call back when ready for taxi. VFR plan is approved, Squawk 7001 and QNH 1004 will uh, call back for taxi. Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, thank you. <coughs> All right. We can do everything then. Um, let's not waste too much time then. Um, so the squawk here, he wants us 7001. We'll go on. We'll put the beacon on also. So here, beacon. All that was done too. Okay, engine start. So mixture is full reach. Uh, Propeller is high, our high RPM, we'll open, oh, it's full open, okay. Uh, auxiliary fuel pump should be on high for two, three seconds. One, two, three. Uh, then we go off, I guess. 
Uh, fuel flow greater than three gallons per hour. E well, I guess. It's uh, quite... Oh, okay, hold on. Um, November 737 Mike, contact ground one, yeah, one, this month one seven, two, five. three, and then seven, off. Seven, three, seven, three, seven. Then we open just slightly and we'll engage the engine. So Magneto will go to here and Yep, propeller is on and we'll aim for a thousand and twenty hundred RPM. So it's over here that I'm looking. Looking to do the ten ten hundred. Alright. Uh that's done, engine start. So after starting. So throttle is between 1000 and 1200. Old pressure. Uh, old pressure is over here. We are in the green. Start annunciator here is gone. Uh, low volts annunciator is gone too. Alternator uh, load below 25. Here. We are below 25. Bus volt is at 28. Uh, let's check the engine instruments. So manifold here we are good. Here we are good. Fuel flow it's uh, quite low for now. Temperature it will rise uh, at some point. Here the old temperature is in the green. Uh, everything here seems good. Yeah, here we are good. Here too. Uh, let's switch to uh, Celsius, 1.8 degrees. Yep, looks like we have everything that is in good set. Alright. Uh, lights, uh, we'll put the taxi lights for now. No, that's not the one. Taxi lights, oh yeah, and nav lights also, I should put them. I have a small fair amount of lag, but that's fine. Um, weather radar is uh, that one, it's off and standby. Avionics are on. Uh, cabin heat, I don't need. Air conditioning, I don't need to. Mixture will lean a little bit for the taxi. And parking brake release, brakes check. Yeah, we'll have the run up. So we'll we'll ask if we can do the run up uh, at our position right now. Winds are not exactly on our direction, but um, I prefer to do the run up here because it it will be a bit difficult otherwise to uh, to do things correctly. Uh, it does not. <laughs> it does not. Uh, it's up to you to not forget anything. Um, let's see, uh, let's call him and ask him if we can do the run-up in our position. Uh, delivery, Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, uh, would it be possible to do the run-up at our position? Uh, Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, yes, of course, uh, sorry, uh, can you repeat that first? <laughs> Would it be possible to do the run-up uh, at our position? Yes, a firm, and if you are ready, then uh, for that you need uh, ground approval, one to one decimal 7, goodbye. We'll uh, see with ground one to one decimal 7, merci pour le service in Bonsoir. Alright, let's switch to ground, one to one seven. Roger, back to the other traffic from right to left, down the south satellite. Miss Ground, good evening again. Uh, Hotel Bravo, Sierra Alpha Lima. Uh, would it be possible to do the run up at our own position, uh, stand 171? Hotel Bravo, Sierra uh, Alpha Lima, Fiamma. Thank you. Alright, 
we can do the run up here, so we'll do the run up over here. Uh, so annunciator, let's uh, test the annunciator. Yep, nothing. So that one is set. Uh, remote here is unslaved, so we are good. Mixture is now full rich. Throttle will go. So if something happens, it's on you. What's the worst mistake you've made so far? Uh, <laughs> It was with the 170, uh, the 152 Cessna. Uh, if the 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 plugin that I have, uh, we can have the covers, you know, for uh, protecting the engines, for example, and things like that. And I I forgot one day to remove them, so I started everything, and at some point uh, the engine just got uh, very warm, and I had an engine failure. So my my engine just stopped working, and it was just bad. <laughs> that was. Uh, um, that was funny, that was funny. At least it was entertaining, <laughs> let's say like that. Uh, throttle to 1700, so let's go to 1700. So 15, 16, Oop, too far, too far I said. Trying to match the 17. Yeah, I'm not moving, so good. All right, uh, let's exercise. So, yeah, propeller is working. So I'm just putting down the blue one just to see if I'm losing uh, rotation here, which is the case. I'm letting it just keeping back to the 17. Well, not anymore to the 17. Let's just push a little bit forward. Yep. Uh, let's check the magneto. So let's go to left. Yeah, losing RPM. Oh, no, no. I, I did manage to land uh, in the field, actually. Uh, luckily for me, I was in Slovakia at that moment. So there is a lot of field around me that uh, was uh, making me able to land but that was very very stressful but I mean that's um, that's the job of a pilot you are supposed to know what to do so it's up to you to do that thing correctly instrument uh, is in the green uh, primary alternator uh, will so hold on primary alternator which one it is oh that's that one okay so primary alternator off load meter on secondary and we should see the alternator load increase yep it increased and we have standby alternator illuminated so standby alternator will go off Alternator load should be at zero. Yep. Load meter will go to primary again. We'll put back the primary alternator. Uh, we'll put back the standby alternator. And we should be above 25. Yeah, more or less. Uh, propeller heat. That's a good question. Where is it? Propeller heat, so that's pitot heat. Is that? Oh, that's prop the ice. Okay. Uh, prop amps. We are at uh, 2025. Yeah. Propeller heat off. And we can put back down the throttle. All right, 10,000 again. So throttle is good. Electric P, uh, trim, sorry, that's that one. So we are all good with that. We'll put that at zero here, just to level it. 
Uh, I will not test the autopilot because I'm not using the autopilot. Yoke is good. Heading bug 30 degrees right, yoke movement, flight directors. Yeah, all that I won't need it. Uh, let's check the flaps. Yeah, they look they look working. Let's put them back. Uh, and we'll put them for takeoff. So takeoff, I guess that's up. Because that's approach and that's down. So windows are closed. After door annunciator is extinguished. Flight controls. Free and correct. Altimeter is set. Departure altitude we can put here uh, 2500 for now. Takeoff heading, I don't uh, need to put that actually, but le let's put it anyway. So we are going with runway 22. So 22, let's go put that. So 220. Alright. Uh, panel lights dim for takeoff. Wrist panel lights, panel lights. Oh yeah. I will keep that down and parking brake can be released. So was there a taxi somewhere? No, before takeoff. So let's uh, just review the before takeoff. Uh, so mixture will be max power, all temperature 20 de 24 degrees minimum. Auxiliary fuel pump should be off at that point. Well, it is already off. Landing lights will be on. We'll go on out uh, mode here for the transponder and weather radar will be on. And for the takeoff, so full open for the throttle. Uh, landing Down gear up and we retract the flaps cubic. at 80 uh, knots. Oh, interesting. So you go with, with approach. Ah, okay. So you, you do put one flaps. Okay. Max continuous power. Air conditioning, cold flap as required and climb. Well, we'll have to manage somehow the speed. Uh, we'll see how we do that. Not sure we'll uh, manage that correctly, but we'll see. If we don't, well, that's uh, the old point of trying. There is someone behind me, actually. Another uh, GA. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> All right, let's call him and tell him that we are uh, fully ready for the taxi. Here I will just put tower for later, because I know it's 1187. Alright, so... Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima is ready to taxi. Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima taxi on the path on the to right via uniform and hotel one. Two to right via uniform and hotel one for Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima. I see where it is. Okay, it's uh, very close. So parking brake released, and let's go. Let's turn ourselves. So uniform, that's where I am. And hotel one is the next one. So that one is Juliet. And we'll turn to the next one. Ooh, that's very exciting to fly uh, a new aircraft like that uh, on Vatsim because I have no idea how it's gonna go. So we go just right here at Hotel One.
and we'll hold on. Control Star Farley, Mark Black Terra, Tower 118 decimal 7, have a good flight, bye bye. Tower 118 decimal 7, merci pour le service, in bonne soir. Alright, let's switch with Tower. Miss Tower, good evening, Flex Bear Niner 74, 3000 feet, uh, approach for runway 2 to right. Flex Bear Niner 74, you have no idea how stressed I am. <laughs> I'm very stressed. Mr. Tower, good evening. Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima holding shot uh, Hotel One. Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, bonsoir. Hold position, I'll call you back. Holding position for Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima. Alright, we are waiting for. Uh, I was, I was expecting the background to look more like a video game. This looks very realistic. Yeah, that's the advantage of um, of MSFS. That that's what they um, did very well. Is that everything is uh, uh, taken from Bing Maps, and they have that technology that makes. Uh, Hotel Bravo Sierra uh, Alpha Lima, alignez-vous et attendez. Pardon. Line up and wait. Uh, runway to your right. I never wait to the right uh, for Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima. Alright, he's making me go here actually. So, landing lights on, strobe lights on. Jedi 6 Lima Alpha, pardon. Jedi 6 Lima Alpha, contact El Sol, 121 décimal 7. Très bonne soirée. 121 7, Jedi 6 Lima Alpha, merci, à la prochaine. All right, so. Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, runway two two right, clear to take off wind two five three degrees one two knots. Uh, report uh, beginning of left and downwind. Clear to take off. Uh, we'll uh, report uh, beginning of left downwind for um, Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima. All right, let's go. Full power. There we go. In climb we are. We'll put some brakes and landing gear goes up. So I'm slightly going like a crab because <laughs> that is uh, quite windy. So flaps goes up. Uh, negative, runway 22 right. Runway 22 right, take the line of the Hotel uh, Alpha Lima, left to enable. Turning left now for Hotel Alpha Lima. Thank you. Flex belt liner 74, wind 25 degrees, 1 2 knots, 82 right, clear to land. Runway 22 right, clear to down, take the minus then. Uh, the flight should take uh, one hour and a half, more or less. What the hell am I turning uh, left downwind uh, 1300 feet? Roger, Hotel Alpha Lima, climb uh, 2,000 feet, uh, and uh, uh, I'll call you back. Climbing 2,000 feet uh, for Hotel Alpha Lima. And uh, Hotel Alpha Lima, proceed uh, overhead by the airfield, cleared to cross the runway axis. We are cleared to cross the runway axis for uh, Hotel Alpha Lima. Alright, we need to climb to 2,000. And we are proceeding towards the airfield. Tabling, uh, top speed three six three established on the ONEV um, Delta two two right. Top speed three four X-ray, bonsoir number one, continue approach runway two two right. 
number one, continue approach to your right, uh, top speed two for HIA. Hotel Alpha Lima, after overhead, proceed on the Whiskey 1 transit, report approaching Echo Whiskey Waypoint. We proceed on the route Whiskey 1 and uh, we'll uh, report approaching Echo Whiskey for Hotel Alpha Lima. Flexbird 907, pardon, Flexbird, oh, yeah, Flexbird 907 for uh, welcome to Nice, contact ground 121, death ML7, bye bye. Uh, merci beaucoup, please, uh, sur 121, this is my 7, thanks for We'll keep 2,000 feet. Bye. Alright. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. So we are following uh, the highway just below me. I don't see it quite well, but uh, but we are heading correctly. So that's uh, the most important. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's put that at 9,500 feet. Otherwise you will keep... Uh... All right, so I... That's Whiskey Alpha where we are. So that's the castle that we have just here down. Now we go to Echo Whiskey, which is over there. Well, so far, I'm quite impressed, but it works quite well. Oh, and also here we need to go altitude reporting. I'm trying to keep the 2000, uh, obviously. So, en route climb, cruise. So, cold flaps here should be closed. Landing lights will go off. Tower, bonsoir, uh, number 6902, Quebec, on Golf, holding short to the right. And of number 6902, Quebec, bonsoir, cross runway 2-2, uh, cancel disregard. Top Swiss 34, X-ray wind 250 degrees, 1-2 knots, runway 2-2 right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 2-2 right, top Swiss 34, I'm climbing, I need to descend back. Hotel Bravo Sierra, Sol Lima, contact approach 134-475, bye bye. I'll say again for Hotel Alpha Lima. Hotel Alpha Lima, contact approach 13475, bye bye. 34475 for uh, Hotel Alpha Lima, bonne soirée. Merci de même. 134475. Nice approach, bonsoir, Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, inbound Echo Whiskey. Hotel Bossiera Alpha Lima, Nice approach, bonjour, identified uh, traffic information for you, a changer 600, about 1 0 o'clock on the final approach for Montbelieu, nothing for you, what is your requested altitude? Uh, for now we would like to climb to 6500 feet. Roger, Hotel Sierra Alpha Lima, continue. Uh, confirm that we can climb to 6,500 feet now. Hotel Alpha Lima, approved, uh, climb, uh, climb 6,500 feet, QNH10, sorry, disregard, 6,500 feet. Climbing 6,500 feet for Hotel Alpha Lima, thank you. Alright, we can climb higher, let's go climbing higher. So that's Echo Whiskey, so that's the golf club over here. So let's climb to 6,005. Uh, I did, yes, uh, do, uh, I did the flight, um, I think it, it was in Malta, and uh, I had, um, I had a lot of, uh, of uh, thunderstorms at that day, <laughs> that was uh, quite interesting, let's say like that.
So I'm probably doing that very, very wrong, um, but I have no idea how to manage that better. So goodbye, Nis. Interesting. Throttle should be full open uh, when you. Okay. Interesting. That that makes no sense for me. But uh, so Tigné is the the city just in front of us, and here there is some kind of um, hole in the mountain. So we'll try to uh, to fly over there. is very sensitive welcome back Batman all right so now uh, we'll be heading towards the mountains over here what I'm looking for is a lake so that's the city of Cannes all right we have the hole here in sight. Tigné is just right here. So let's head to the next destination. So three, one, two. Had to reinstall Windows, reinstalling P3D now. What? You reinstalled completely um, uh, Windows? Damn. What happened for you to reinstall completely Windows? Oh, P3D issues, I see. Well, it happens. Uh, so oxygen I don't need uh, because we'll remain below 10,000 feet so normally it's at 10,000 feet that you need to turn oxygen on so for now we'll keep that like this we are almost at cruising let's remove power and we'll stabilize to the 6005 so throttle apparently it's full open so let's go full open and propeller should be around 25 so let's keep the 25 Steve as kilos with you flight level 140 Ooh, he killed my ears. Five, five kilo, needs approach. Bonjour, identified. Expector RNP Delta approach. Runway two to right. Expect vectors RNP Delta approach. Runway two to right. Speed five five kilo. Well, that that aircraft is uh, acting quite nicely, I should say. It's not <laughs> as good as the King Air. I, I, I do feel that the King Air is, uh, is somehow a bit better, but uh, ooh, that was a wind shear, but uh, I think it's, uh, it's okay, it's okay, ooh, I'm having quite a lot of wind, and it will get worse <laughs> when we arrive in the mountains. 
Oxygen not required, do a barrel roll. <laughs> no, 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 I will not do a barrel roll on an aircraft that I, I have no idea how to manage uh, anything. There is no way. Well, we have master control after that. Oof. That is quite uh, bumpy over here. That is very bumpy. As you can see, our ground speed is 139. I have 26 knots of winds coming from my left. So yeah, I basically have headwinds. Speedbird 55 Kilo, recycle Skok 5661. Skok 5661, Speedbird 55 Kilo. Jesus Christ, look at all those errors, uh, failures that exist. That is insane. Yeah, after that, it will be the 9,500 feet. Five, five kilo descent, level one, one, two. So I recognize more or less uh, one, one, two, uh, what I see kilo. here. Oops, to close off the window. I was wondering how you know over what city you were, but I see the map now. Oh yeah, here. Uh, it's because I know the region actually. Oh, more or less, more or less, I know a bit of the region. You should, you should try doing a flap failure, or yeah, I will, but not with that aircraft. <laughs> well, actually, I'm planning to do some tutorials on failures, so I just need to plan, which is taking a lot of time, as you can imagine. But yeah, the, 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 the fact that I know the, uh, where I am, it's because I, um, I since I plan uh, where I was going, I I just saw what was the name of the cities five, and everything. Five kilo, descent flight level 80, speed 250 knots. For the A320, I can send you the killer Oh yeah, with pleasure. You can uh, you can send it to to, uh, to Discord by, uh, by private messages if you, if you want. It would be a pleasure. So right now, I have the map announcement that is working. So it's streaming Google Maps. So technically, what I'm seeing right now is what we see in Google Maps also. Speedbird 5 Kilo Vector, fly 130. Fly heading 130, Speedbird 5 5 Kilo. Uh, let me ask him uh, if I can already climb to 9,500 feet because it's quite a bit windy and I want to be a, as high as possible for the mountains. Um, approach Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, uh, would it be possible to climb uh, at 9,500 feet? Hotel Alpha Lima approved, climb, uh, climb 9,500 feet. Probably 9,500 feet approved uh, for Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima, thank you. Alright, let's uh, let's climb then. We'll climb a bit higher because uh, I, I want to be with a good ground clearance. So that's the lake I was looking for, uh, Lake of Castillon. So I need to correct a little bit my direction here, so we'll be heading that way. Yeah, Castellan, that's the name of the city uh, uh, next to it. Yeah, look, the, the, the winds are going lower and lower, more or less. Speed at 5.5 five kilo speed, 2.2.0 knots. 
E two two zero not speed burst five five secure. What a beautiful the region. That's really Rival one two eight decimal two speed burst five five kilos. Uh, that's really a very nice uh, region uh, over this. Nice. Love it. So right now on my right, that's what that's the Alps, the French Alps. And then uh, when we arrive, we'll be seeing the Swiss Alps. All right, we'll level off here. Trying to stabilize the, the, the aircraft with the trim. Not that easy as you can imagine. back a little bit uh, let's see the GT here yeah I can remove a little bit more the mixture good to descend back Alpha Lima, contact Marseille Control, 119, decimal 5, au revoir. Marseille Control, 11975, merci pour le service, une bonne soirée. Merci. 11975. Oh oh, descending way too much. Marseille Control, bonsoir, Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima with you at 9500 feet. All right, need to turn over here now. November nine Sierra Bravo. November nine Sierra. Descent flight of one seven zero. Descending one zero. Zero November nine Sierra Bravo. So I'm heading towards the Alps. At least I'm trying to. <laughs> Not that easy as you can imagine. We are quite good now. Oof. Captain Pompa, bonne route, mais merci à toi. Merci à toi. Nous allons traverser les Alpes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stay, stay down. Thank you. That's quite, uh, that's quite bumpy. Descending level one eight, top swift nine or four hotel mic. So. I'm not. I'm. I'm very close, normally, of uh, some restricted areas in real life, but we should be fine. We should be fine. Look at that. That view. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That call sign is just incredible. French baguette. I believe it's from a VA. A virtual airline. Oh, I forgot that, actually. The weather. Not sure it's working, though, but... Uh Oh yeah, 
look at that 28 knots from the left so it's a pure 28 crosswind <laughs> Not sure the aircraft. Level six, descent, level two, not sure that the aircraft is supposed to 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 hand to to support that, but uh, we'll see. So basically, we are following the the valleys, staying at uh, at nine thousand five hundred feet. Until we reach our final destination. Marseille Control, top 6, 300 right now, so Monsieur, flight level 230, cap top. Top 6, minus 3, hotel. Mike, Marseille, bonsoir, Viva 7, no new arrival. You see, that's that's one thing that is very interesting with, um, with French phraseology and English phraseology. You, you, you see, when you are calling someone uh, in English, you are just saying uh, uh, good good morning, ground, uh, or good evening, whatever. But but in French, what is very interesting is you are always saying something like "good day, sir," <laughs> which is very interesting. It, it's 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 like French people are slightly more polite than <laughs> than English one. <laughs> slightly. Well, we do uh, we we are polite in French, but. Uh, that is something that uh, amuses me every time. Oof, 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 oof. That's quite windy. Okay. Oh, that was very bad policy. Oh my goodness. That is quite... Um, yeah, virtual airline. Everything started from a joke, and now it's in the customs. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when you see other stream, uh, they they like, for example, Chewy. I, I know that Chewy one day um, in one in, in his streams, he, he was laughing when he heard the French baguette call sign. So it was um, it was very funny to see his reaction. But hey. I mean, that's um, that's a stereotype. Yes, that's true. But that's uh, that's more or less how Office French are are uh, are pictured the by the others in the, the world. I mean, that is very cliche, obviously, because well, <laughs> French people are not are not walking with a, with a baguette in their hands like uh, what uh, people imagine. And we hold that. Uh, but you know, it's like for us uh, Swiss. Uh, the, the, some people think that we we are always uh, eating cheese or chocolate or whatever, when 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 actually we are not that much eating that. But that uh, that that is a cliche again. Or playing what we called in French uh, Corps des Alpes, which is an instrument from uh, from the mountains uh, people, which is very impressive to see because you need to have quite some kind of breath to, uh, <laughs> to do that instrument. So right now I'm heading toward the um, the city of Alos, and just behind here, there is uh, the city of Barcelonette. Yes, I know that name sounds very ridiculous, but uh, that's how it's called. And next to us, there is a huge natural park, actually. I don't remember the exact name of the park, but. Uh, Oof. The sound is very broken. Uh, that is really not my department. I do not think so, not for your direction. <laughs> that is not from my department. That's so nice. I swear I hate this time of day. This time of day? What do you mean, Death Crow? <laughs> That that was a funny conversation. <laughs> Seven 
Uh, Nine Sierra Bird, contact uh, Nice Approach, one two four decimal one seven five. Goodbye. Oh, I actually one, two, just four, passed one, Alos. Five, five, Where is the lake then? Because Alos is is below me actually. Barcelona is just four, in front. It's time to descend, descend. Too many fucking people. Oh yeah, I see. I see. Can't get where I need to go for delivery. Freaking nightmare. Oh, yeah, that's. Uh, Can you confirm that the second was for Top Six Nine or Four Hotel Mike? Ah, very nice. Top Six Nine or Four Hotel Mike and Six Nine Three Hotel Mike. Here's up and attention. Top Six Four Hotel Mike. Descent flight number one five zero in the hold. Break, break, top swift, Ina tree. If I wait about an hour, it'll be better. Zero. Jesus Take Christ. Three uh, setting level one to your top swift, nine or four hotel mic. Top swift, no, three hotel mic can, will be aware. And tomorrow uh, uh, night, I'm gonna try to uh, stream during the uh, during the freaky, <laughs> freaky <laughs> Friday. Oh my god, my ears. Uh, during the freaky Fridays Brussels. But we'll see. Let me know if it's too loud for uh, for the pilot because it is for me, so I can reduce it a little bit. So Barcelona, just in front of us. Ooh, 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 stand down, stand down the aircraft. Jesus Christ, that was a lot of wind that I was not expected at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting way too much on the rudder right now. Okay, I need to turn over here. Trying to maintain my uh, my good posture here, which is not that easy. Uh, normally I do morning, but Top couldn't uh, cast the car Mike. I Top use. Oh, I see. Hotel Mike. Contact this approach. One, two, four, decimal, one, seven, five. Uh, I'm descending. That's not good. This approach. One, two, four, one, seven, five. Going to a route. Top with four, hotel Mike. Merci. Uh, I just don't want to go out uh, there, crazy drivers. Yeah, I can understand that. We we do have crazy drivers here too, <laughs> so I can perfectly understand that. That thing we talk about in private. Oh yeah, yeah, no worries. I get it. Stay down, stupid aircraft. Where am I with the fuel? Yeah, I guess we are going to switch to the right one now. Uh, two run zero. Uh, we confirmed top six nine three hotel mic. I have uh, a trip and Thank you. <laughs> Let me reduce a little bit the power of the propeller there because I have difficulties to maintain that speed. So according to my plan, I'm descending now to 7,500 feet. Hotel Mike. So I'm I'm not I don't have to ask him uh, to descend because I am on echo airspace, so basically I can do whatever I want. But what I can do is just warn him that we are descending to 7,500 feet. Uh, so let me call him. Mass Control Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima. We are descending now to 7,500 feet. Tip top. No traffic in your vicinity. Deconfliction service. No traffic in my around me. Thank you for Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima. Well, um, by altitude, I, <laughs> I was not expecting anyone. So uh, let me check my checklist for the descent. 
Because I have no idea what I need to do. So cold flaps, they are closed. Uh, throttle we reduce. Obviously we enrich a little bit the mixture in the way. So let's descend. Cylinder head temperature. Uh, I believe that's here. 116 yeah 116 minimum so we are way above that so that's fine Alpine 6 Sierra Lima contact on 134475 You think anything good will be on sale tomorrow? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's random, <laughs> no, no, no worries. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I mean, there's always sales every time, so... I mean, for, for that flight, I, wa I was thinking of doing that with the Cessna 152. Then I saw that the Cessna 152 will take me two hours and a half. And I was like, no way, I will not do that. Then I was like, oh, I could go with the with the Piper Archer maybe. Well, it was two hours. I was like, ah. And then I thought about the Bonanza. I was like, oh, hold on. I need to buy the Bonanza also. Let's go with the Bonanza and let's try the Bonanza for the first time. I'm pretty sure I'm doing everything completely wrong, but uh, but it's uh, it's quite nice <laughs> right now. At least it's working. I always look at marketplace first because I have I always have Microsoft credits, which makes it cheaper. Oh yeah. Usually I try to avoid marketplace because uh, I'm not a big fan. Uh, if I want to and install something that makes me go to that makes me start msfs just to uh, unload it so that's very annoying but uh but yeah ouch yeah see that's why i'm not a fan of long flight yeah i'm, I'm not well in 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 normal days let's say like that uh i won't mind doing two hours and a half with um with the Cessna 152 uh, from Nice to Geneva, but uh, tomorrow I need to, to go very early at uh, at work because I have a lot of things to do um, before going to an event. So I didn't want to to take a two hours and a half flight and end at midnight. So what is nice with that flight is we should be arriving normally uh, around uh, 10 20 more or less so that's plenty of time for me uh, to wrap up everything do uh, do um, a raid to someone else and uh, maybe play a little bit Sonic Frontiers before going to bed <laughs> more or less <laughs> so right now I'm heading towards that valley that we see uh, with the mouse over there there is another lake uh, that I'm aiming. I should take uh, around 10, 15 minutes maybe to, to do that uh, leg, more or less. I hand fly and I can get easily bored if I'm not doing something else long term. Yeah, well, that's why I, lo I love to do dead reckoning flight uh, VFR and not uh, instrument wise because uh, when you are doing instruments uh, like for example VOR and things like that uh, if, if it's a DME VOR for example you know all the time where w that you are going correctly because I mean you are following the VOR uh, so that's fine uh, but with dead reckoning what I love very much is that you always have to look outside and be sure that you are correctly heading <laughs> the right direction so that's a bit more uh, active as a flight but uh, but yeah I, I can I can understand that uh, at some point when you are doing a very very long VFR flight it can be very tiresome 
But with that aircraft, uh, let's be honest, I don't have time to uh, to be uh, annoyed because I'm constantly moving my trim wheel on my Bravo <laughs> because I'm I'm just climbing, descending, climbing, descending. That's very uh, <laughs> very hard to maintain the aircraft. Yeah, you see, look at that. We have 11 knots now, so it's way smoother over here than it was uh, just a few minutes ago, which makes sense. I mean, I I am not anymore in the Alps, or at least switching to Unicom for the Lima. Thank you very much, and but whatever. Right. Switching to Unicom. Oh, actually, it's uh, it's already ten half past ten. Ah, so I'm very very late actually. I am more late than I thought. I always do that. I try to keep it level, but it's either climb or descent. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It depends very much how the flight dynamics are done and how the winds are. Also, I mean, uh, you can have a very uh, steady level aircraft with nice flight dynamics if they are done correctly. Obviously, when you have a lot of winds or things like that, like I, I had just a few minutes ago. It's hard to maintain that alt the 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 level of level because uh, obviously you have a lot of air coming to your wings, so it's producing a lot of lift. So obviously you are constantly climbing and trying to correct every time. Hold on, let me check Sim aware because I I do feel that there is nobody anymore. No, Geneva is still... Okay, interesting. And also, I don't see me on SimAware, actually. <laughs> Where am I? Let me restart, uh, refresh, I should say, the, the page of SimAware. Because that is weird. I guess everyone just went off. Oh yeah, 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 indeed, indeed, they went off. Oh yeah, I see where I, I see where I am. And there is indeed no more Geneva. Oh, Jesus Christ, I will land on Unicom. Oh, I knew it. I knew it that I will end with Unicom. Such annoying. But that's my fault, that's my fault. But I couldn't do uh, anything else, so... It's very hard when you are eating at quite at the same time as the events <laughs> and can't do much about that since I'm since I'm not uh, living alone I cannot decide when I'm going to eat so yeah I want to play something while I'm waiting for this job but I don't want to get into something uh, then immediately go uh, lol had to do that a few ago yeah well recently and very recently actually because it was yesterday uh, I bought actually Sonic Frontiers. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Sonic. I grew up playing Sonic and um, and for quite a long time I was a bit pissed because uh, there was there is only a few Sonic games that are actually excellent and the others are just bullshit and um, and for me since 2000 maybe 11 I think it was uh, with Sonic Generation I was very sad because the next installments that came were very poor um, and I speak for the 3D version not the 2D because the 2D there was uh, Sonic Mania that came out in 2018 I think it was uh, that one was excellent but that's the 2D so that's not exactly the same um, but yeah, for the um, for the three D versions of uh, Sonic, sadly, uh, after Sonic Generation, there was nothing very very good, uh, and I was a bit sad. And well, 
a few months ago now, I think it was, uh, Sonic Frontiers came out. And the one difference that is with that game is that they wanted to do a RPG open world Sonic. And I was like, geez, an open world Sonic? What a great idea. Um, if it works. <laughs> And yeah, I was uh, curious and let's say yesterday I jumped <laughs> on the decision to uh, to buy it and I have to say, for now, I'm quite happy with the game. It's quite nice, the musics are just amazing. That sounds fun, I've never been into Sonic so yeah, well, I mean... Normally Sonic is known obviously for uh, very linear games because you have those levels that you do and you try to go as fast as possible uh, to finish the level. But uh, in, in some way when you think about it, it makes sense to have an open world Sonic. Uh, so I was, I was anxious and very hyped by the idea of uh, Sonic Frontiers. And when they showed that uh, during the um, conventions, uh, like E3 and things like that, I was like, that seems bad, that seems very bad. And uh, somehow when they managed to do that correctly for the, for, for the release. So that, that was quite uh, intriguing. I remember the cartoon was more fun uh, than the games for me. The cartoons were very, very nice. I mean, there, there, there was a lot of cartoons. There, there was the, the, the Sonic one that was based on the 2D version game. So it was the uh, the young Sonic, or the 2D Sonic, as it's called. Um, and then they did... Um, they did Sonic... Uh, what was the name in English? I don't remember, but he's, uh, he has a sister and a brother, and uh, he's playing the guitar. If I remember, uh, so they are a band and they are looking for their mother that disappeared when they were uh, little. And then they did also probably one of the best Sonic uh, anime. It's uh, Sonic X, which is also based on Sonic Adventure from um, from the Adventures games in Dreamcast, which was for me and for many Sonic fans, I guess. Uh, the best game ever made for Sonic. <laughs> Sonic Adventures was so great. It was kind of an open world too, kind of, because you could wander around. It was just smaller because that was the Dreamcast, but it was kind of an open world too, so but that was nice, that was nice. Sonic and Tails, I remember something about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Sonic and Tails, that's then the first one. That's uh, when they are young and they were always uh, ending the episode with Sonic's gonna talk to you or something like that. Or I think it was Tails saying uh, Sonic uh, say something and he, he, Sonic corrects Tails and say Sonic tells you something because it's, I, I guess, more polite to say tell than say, but... Uh, but yeah, that, that one was quite great, actually. Hold on, actually we can... Let me block the camera for one sec. What we can do... So it was Sonic... Oops. Sonic uh, cartoon. Let's see. Yeah, Adventures of Sonic. That's, that's the name, I think, in, in English. Adventures of Sonic. Yeah, that that's that this. <laughs> that was so funny. Which is very amusing because the the French uh, version uh, is not like this. I mean, the 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 visuals is the same, but in French they are they are singing actually over it. 
So that's very funny that uh, in English they did something different. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> That anime was very, very nice. Sonic and Tails. The face of Tails, I mean. He looks like someone who was drugged. <laughs> that was so bad for him. When you saw that, you were like, what happened to your face? You seem to be... to, to have taken too much uh, cocaine. Oh, that's not the one you were thinking of. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, maybe that was that one then. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Was it that one maybe? So that one is more recent, obviously. And again, in English, very different from the French one. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a uh, it's a reflex game, so obviously uh, you need to have very great reflexes. I'm not an expert too, uh, don't worry, I, I'm, I'm not that great too. There is many people that are way better than me. Gotta go fast! Gotta go faster, 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 faster! That's so funny. But yeah, that, that was nice games. I love Sonic. I mean... It's still the case now, I think, but... Uh, there, there, there was always that, uh, that kind of... Oh, th those clouds are very low. Uh, there was always that... Um, you know, that war between those... Uh, being more in love with Sonic and the others more in love with um, uh, with um, with Mario, and that was uh, that was quite um, a bit stupid actually as a war because both games are actually great. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, oh look at that! It is working actually. Interesting. So weather is working on that one. So we can see indeed that I should not be going that way, <laughs> but well, we can clearly see that it is having a nightmarish uh, visual here. Luckily for us, we are heading that way. <laughs> Let me catch a little bit. I can't find it. Remember it being a lot better looking than what I'm find, uh, finding, so I don't know. Yeah, no worries. As I said, there was quite a few uh, Sonic um, animes or cartoons that were made, so... The older one uh, is... The, well, the oldest one is uh, the first one I showed. That, that's the first one that came out uh, many years ago now. <laughs> I was never really into Mario either. Yeah, well, I mean, every every per every person is loves what he wants. I mean, that's uh, that's the beauty of life, isn't it? We we each other loves different things, so we can talk about it and dispute about it. That's. Uh, in a, in a good manner, obviously. But that's uh, the that's beauty of life. So that city here is the city of Grenoble. So it doesn't look like, obviously, uh, like that. I 
was thinking of putting the, the photogrammetry because there is someone who did the photogrammetry, but it was not that great, so I decided not to do. But we are almost arriving. Uh, we should take more, maybe half an hour until reaching uh, Geneva. Might have been late 90s, I don't remember though. Yeah, no worries. <sighs> Let me drink a little bit because I'm starting to be s dry. That's better. <clears throat> so, um, see that I'm starting to climb. Let's descend back. Oh, descending a bit too fast. So we should see normally, yeah, just right here. That's uh, one of the airports of Grenoble. There is two actually. I believe that's the closest one of the city. The other one is below that uh, very darky, gr uh, grayish uh, location. Uh, I did a lot in the 90s, but I did it because I like it and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, as you say, you do what you have to do. I have to admit, that's quite nice to see those clouds like that, very, very low and very higher ones. Well, I, I do remember that uh, uh, in my school uh, where I was uh, for 3D. Uh, I was I was the the guy uh, annoying other um, younger students uh, because uh, since I like to watch again and again and again the same things I have then a good memory of everything so I do remember uh, uh, a lot of things that that came out maybe. 10 years ago or things like that about movies and video games and things like that and um, I do remember that uh, one day there was um, a teacher that came to me which was which was it, it, it is still uh, a friend and um, and he was like hey um, can I ha can I ask you a question and he came with an another student next to me I was like yeah of course uh, what do you want and he put in front of me a paper uh, with a, a draw, a drawing on it, and um, and he was like, "What's your first idea?" And I was like, "Oh, it looks like um, what is his name? Uh, is it is it Krokmu? No, it's not Krokmu. Uh, uh, what is the name of the dragon uh, in the movie Dragons?" Uh, in English, I don't remember the name. I, I saw it in French, so sorry, guys. I don't know the, the name in English um, but the, the main dragon in the movie is dragons and um, and the teacher just at the, at the same time turned his head to the other student and he was like see that's the that's the issue with your uh, with your drawing and uh, I looked to my friend and I was like the hell happened <laughs> he was like no no I just wanted to make sure that he understands that the issue with his drawings is that he's not getting inspired by uh, by other uh, piece of arts. He's copying it, which is not the same, obviously. And he wanted me uh, to, to 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 make him understand that because the first thing I, I thought was obviously uh, the dragon in dragons. <laughs> so he was like, oh. <laughs> I felt so bad for him. I was like, "Oh, that was not my my intention to break your heart," <laughs> but it looked like very much the dragon in dragons. So, <laughs> so yeah, 
Oh, Toothless. That's Toothless his name. Now I remember because he... I just thought the fact that he doesn't have tooth. Uh, teeth, sorry. He's called Toothless. That's the dragon I was thinking of. I wonder who's streaming right now. I don't think Dryzen is streaming. No, Dryzen is not streaming. Ah, what is, what is interesting. Was that his goal? Because I started drawing what I saw and drawing an email from pushing the VHS. Yeah, I mean, when you draw to learn, that's one thing. Uh, it's not an issue to copy because you you try to understand how it how the guy did that. Uh, but um, but the thing is, when you are doing that for uh, for an exam that you will have, or let's say a homework that you have to do that will have a mark on it, um, obviously you cannot do that <laughs> copying uh, another art because that's cheating, <laughs> that's stealing also at the same time. So that was the issue. It, it was an home, uh, a homework that he had to do which will end with a mark on it, so uh, he couldn't stay with that uh, with that drawing like this. I don't have anyone streaming besides you. Yeah, I see that I have um, Italian Alien 21 that is streaming right now. I don't know what he's doing actually. Let me check. What is he streaming? Oh, okay, yeah. He's not streaming Flight Simulator, so I don't care. I thought he was uh, maybe doing some flight, but... Uh, he's playing Modern Warfare, and I repulsed that game, so I will not raid him for that. Um, I, have, I have Crows that is online, but Crows is not very much playing. Dreamcaster is a French one, so I will not read him, otherwise nobody will understand what he's uh, saying. Yeah, well... <laughs> well, if it was another game that Modern Warfare or Call of Duty, I wouldn't mind. But as I said, I repulse very much uh, Call of Duty, so... I won't stream some. I won't raid someone that is playing Call of Duty. Uh uh, not gonna happen. No, I mean, if you were streaming right now, uh, Hogwarts Legacy, I will still uh, raid you because that's Hogwarts Legacy, and I love Hogwarts Legacy. If you were playing Call of Duty, yeah, maybe I will not. But <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Not trying to be rude, but as I said, I really hate that game. I, I hate that game for many reasons, and one of the main reason why I hate that game is that I have a lot of of uh, of friends, um, friends, not friends, but uh, uh, people that were. Um, seeing me that uh, um, that I have a, a, a very bad taste in gaming because I'm not playing Call of Duty and I was like so for you because I'm not playing Call of Duty but better games like Hogwarts Legacy or Uncharted or Spyro the Dragon or whatever I have bad taste in gaming I was like okay <laughs> weird well, yeah, okay. We don't have the same. Uh, what's the word? The same. Um, I don't know the the the, uh, the definition of oh, Jesus Christ tonight. I'm very very tired. Uh, we don't have the same definition of bad games. <laughs> Just send us to the French person. <laughs> Dreamer Caster, a very good fellow. Well, I have Megabyte also that is 
streaming. Is he streaming Flight Simulator also? I hope he is. Oh, he is indeed. Huh. Oh, he's doing some kind of memorial flight for Matt Davis. Oh, interesting. Oh, I think we'll be reading him then. To those who don't know uh, Matt Davis, Matt Davis was a very, very famous streamer uh, who passed away the other day, uh, sadly. And uh, yeah, that was a very, very sad uh, news to hear. I didn't follow much what he was doing uh, because I, I, I was pretty new in flight sim. But uh, but for what I get, uh, he was very 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 appreciated by the community. So yeah, very sad story, sadly. As some people said, we lost a brother. <laughs> we lost a brother in battle. <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong, I like flying, but I've only noticed I get viewers from my flight stream and barely, if anything, from my other games. I don't want to do flight all the time just to get people to watch. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that's perfectly understandable. Uh, I, I have no issues with that, I mean, that's uh, that makes totally sense for me. And honestly, I, I am myself thinking of maybe streaming sometimes other games the only thing that I let's say I, I have mixed feeling about that because somehow I want to do that but in another way I'm like uh, yes but my, my name is Air Amaruk there is the word Air inside it makes no sense for me to play something else than Flight Simulator so, or at least something that is unrelated for uh, with uh, flight animation, uh, flight aviation. So yeah, it's. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. That's um, that's a tricky question. Let's say. But I perfectly get uh, the, the 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 feeling about that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate. It. Well, we'll we'll see. Maybe maybe I will. Uh, as I said, I I still don't know what I really want to do, but um, I might one day maybe do. Um, I'd watch if you played other games. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate, guys. I'm here because of Lindsay Harvey. I knew him from YouTube and started following his streaming here. Oh yeah, I, I know Lindsay also. Very good fella. Love to see uh, <laughs> him dying over and over on, on Last of Us. <laughs> Lindsay, I love you. <laughs> uh, I get the feeling. Not that easy to fly to to do uh, last of us on the difficulty where it is. You don't have to go all out with other games and no flight because if you enjoy it, play it, stream it. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. That's a truly good point. But I think if I if I will stream something else now, it will probably be uh, Sonic Frontiers. Because you know there is nothing better than seeing s that than watching someone trying very hard <laughs> to to do good levels <laughs> in Sonic, because you kind of want to you know come over him and pet him over the head like that and say there there <laughs> while he's <laughs> while he's uh, all uh, all. Um, Tears out, <laughs> but yeah, maybe we'll see. We'll see. I I can do one day, uh, you know, some kind of um, of Sonic Frontiers uh, streaming uh, in order to chill out a little bit. 
Right, we are reaching a little bit a tedious region, so let me put actually the prop the ice here and the pito hit just in case because I can see there is green clouds, so that means no, not much turbulence. But um, so we are currently flying the city of Ansi. Look at that. And uh, for your information, that city is very famous here for one reason, well, for other reasons, but one of the reasons that <laughs> interests me more is that uh, it, it's um, the home of one of the greatest film uh, animation film festival in the world. So the, uh, the film animation festival is being held here. In, in Annecy so you have the castle of Annecy here and uh, all around here you have the session for the movies that you are uh, trying to watch so it's a uh, it's a you know, and it's a lovely uh, city actually also uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. let me check uh, but that brings up my point. People seem to only watch me for the flight and not for me, which makes me pr uh, resent MSFS a bit and makes me not want to do it on stream if I'm being honest. Uh, I appreciate the people stopping in, but this has been something I've been thinking on for a bit now. Sorry, ranting a bit. No, no worries, no worries. Uh, if it's reassure you, I'm not jumping on your stream because you are doing flight sim. I'm jumping in because you are you death crow streaming right now so if it reassure you at least you have one guy you know that is coming for you and not for the content that you are doing i mean if you are playing hogwarts legacy obviously i'm coming uh for the same reason so so for me it doesn't matter that you are doing flight sim or hogwarts legacy or i don't know uh, anything else I'm coming because you are streaming and not the other way around, so... Which, I, I mean, which makes sense for me. That For me that makes no sense to go only to a stream just because is ju Just because of the content of the stream and not for the guy who's he's doing the stream. Because I, in, in that way I can... I can, I can I can watch anyone actually because it doesn't matter. But for me it matters. I mean, I'm not watching any any stream. I'm watching the streamer that I want to watch. So I'm not just jumping to any stream and being like, yeah, well, never mind. It's just I just want to watch uh, some MSFS or whatever other game. I've just noticed that the MSFS community is passionate about flying and I get that but if you're not doing that it feels like you're shunned a bit. Yeah, well, indeed, indeed, there is uh, there is a li some kind of that feeling, that's true. Uh, let's be honest, I have no idea what is in front of me, which is a bit... Uh, complicate well I do see the Salev which is the mountain over here yeah well that's the thing that annoys me uh, yeah the ground and mountains yeah uh, that's the thing that annoys me very much with uh, with a MSFS sometimes is uh, the fact that you you have uh, the the reading of the metar and the weather that is really really wrong <laughs> I mean, it looks like we have mist or fog in, in, in Geneva, when actually we don't. <laughs> we don't have that. It's it's pure clear sky today, or at least you have very much 10 kilometers of uh, visibility, so very, very, very strange. Okay, I see that there is uh, not much people in Geneva right now so we should be okay I'm gonna try to climb a little bit higher because I think I'm way too low for that mountain here so that mountain is called the Salev a 
very nice location. There is uh, an observatory uh, above. Yeah, 6,000 feet should be enough. So maybe we can catch the observatory. Uh, the ground amount of the... Oh, Sir Oli, thank you for the follow. I just, uh, I just saw that. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate. Welcome aboard. Can I spot the... Uh... Normally it should be around here. I think it's just right here, but... Looks like the... Uh... Oh yes. I think that's... Is it? No. Where is the tower? The tower is missing. Weird. The hell? Yeah, we, we barely see actually everything. <laughs> You're welcome, thank you. I hope you are having a wonderful day. So I have no idea what is the landing uh, in Geneva right now. Let me check the weather here quickly. Metar. So 1003, so let me put 1003. And let me descend. Let me descend actually. Winds are 212 knots, so that's runway 22 in use. So I'm gonna get around the CTR and we'll be landing in 22. I'm also a little bored, uh, so ranting because I need to do something. I have to pick someone up in two hours. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, no worries. You can rant as much as you want. I don't mind. Better that it comes out than keeps it inside. <laughs> what do you usually stream? Back, finished installing P3D. Ooh, nice. We are arriving at Geneva right now. I'm descending to 3,500 feet, so I can see a bit better the ground. I barely see the city over there. <laughs> well, Sierra was not the best idea, I think. Turn a little bit to my left. Alright, let's keep 3500 feet so I'm just below the TMA. So right now I should be I should be okay I think. Yeah, barely see the mountains. Yeah okay, I need to go that way over there. I had a good feeling to put the uh, <laughs> the anti ice. Yeah, prop the ice. Yeah, okay. Ooh, I'm descending way too much. Uh, let's go to the checklist quickly. Approach. So let's see. Fuelless tank. Where are we with the fuels? Okay, so let's switch to the left again. Okay, right now I'm below the TMA, so I should be fine. Okay, I entered the CTR just like an idiot. Luckily for me, there is nobody. Going to do Heham OTHH. What is OTHH again? Uh, I guess it's, uh, it's in Dubai or not far from it. Ah, that's Doha, okay. Uh, landing lights is normally already on, yes. Pito it is on too. So we'll enter Sierra Whiskey and do the root whiskey. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead, terrain ahead. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. 
don't worry. We are fine. Let's put some rudder to turn. Terrain ahead, yeah. Don't mind the uh, the GPS. That's TDS uh, GTNXI. He's exaggerating a little bit. Oh, interesting. Propeller heat should be deactivated. So let's deactivate it. fine if I cannot crash in this kind of weather in the bush plane you got this you you you're the better pilot anyways oh yeah well I wouldn't uh, bet on that <laughs> I will definitely not bet on that oh someone is arriving at Geneva also I should be uh, careful sorry just so just many different games that I enjoy or or what so normally whiskey is uh, a big mall a big supermarket mall Cold flaps is the only thing that I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in, in, in real life. I mean, sure, I better landing occasionally, but I'm not that good. Mostly pure dumb luck. <laughs> well, just like me. Pure dumb luck. Oh, you know what? Let's avoid uh, going to November Whiskey. I'm gonna go straight ahead for... Uh, for the uh, downwind of the runway because it's getting late and uh, I thought I was arriving a bit sooner but uh, just like the first tail dragger 152 landing that was locked lol <laughs> nah that was pure skill pure skill my friend So flaps. So let's reduce my speed. traffic, November five, Mike one six, um, about miles to your west, coming in for a full stop on two two one Montreal traffic. Geneva traffic, Hotel Bravo, Sierra Alpha Lima, Bodens, uh, entering the downwind for runway 22 for a full stop. Alright, we are on the downwind, kind of. I need to reduce my speed drastically. Because I'm coming way too fast. Put the flaps on approach, yeah, but I need to be at least at 120 first. There we go. Now we are good. Flap failure, yeah, for sure. turn otherwise I'll be screwed and we'll put the landing gear also I forgot that I have a landing gear it will slow me down
Make sure go full. General traffic Hotel Bravo Sierra Alpha Lima turning final uh, for runway two two. Oof, I'm coming. Montreal yeah. traffic, November 5, Mike 16, joining base for runway 214. Mike 1, uh, November, uh, Montreal traffic. Montreal traffic. Oh, I thought he was saying Geneva traffic. My bad. So I'm uh, coming. 500. Yeah, we'll be landing way before he arrives. Ooh, that's quite windy on Geneva. Woohoo! Ooh, that's nice. Let's put some more flaps to get a better. One feature traffic, November 5, Mike 16, standing final runway 214, stop load. One feature traffic. Whoa! That is that is quite intriguing. Oh my god, I have so much wind. I will definitely leave at Zulu. Oh my god. I cannot Oh my god. Oof. Oof. That was <laughs> That was unexpected. <laughs> that was quite unexpected. I have no idea what was the, the landing rate, but with all the wind I had, Geneva traffic run with Makita on Yankee. All right, that was, uh, that was intriguing. <laughs> Taxi light off, uh, strobe lights off. Flaps are up, cool flap goes open, we'll taxi straight, uh, pito heat should be up. Oof. Let's see, uh, do 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 do. Da, 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 just like uh, those voices are back again. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't see it, lol. <laughs> yeah, well, I was way too focused. <laughs> oh, minus one fifty nine. Well, that's that's a bit hard for uh, uh, for the for GA, but I mean we have twelve knots of wind. No, even sixteen knots of wind in a crosswind. So that's. That's intense. What happened? What was unusual? Well, uh, when you have a lot of winds like that, um, uh, as both, it's uh, it's harder to land, obviously, because you have to correct, uh, and you are basically not landing straight ahead, but going like a crab. And at the last moment before touching down, you turn the aircraft towards the runway. But it is a harder landing, obviously, because you have quite a lot of wind, so the aircraft is not totally stable. And it's even more true with, uh, with a GA, because we are little aircrafts. We are not done for that. Alright, let's go to Lima 8 over here. And let's block just right here boom there we go uh, no parking brake is that side come on come on parking brake good uh, shut down the secure so let's see avionics well we can turn them off now so we'll go back to standby here and uh, let's kill avionics all sub panels will go off they are all off yeah. Uh, throttle will go closed. Propeller high RPM. 
and make sure cut off. Ooh, that's done. Uh, shut down. Magnetos will turn that to off. And alternator, whoops. And we'll turn off everything. Yeah. And standby alternator too. All right. Here we are. Let's cut off also this. There we go. There we are, guys. Welcome back to Geneva with a weather that is not exactly what we have in real life, but that's that's okay. Uh, we don't mind. There is a, a little bit less clouds, actually. Ooh, look at that. That guy is arriving, too. Uh, do -do -do. Hey, Agent Presta. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you are sadly arriving at the end of the stream, but uh, welcome, welcome. Appreciate your presence. This is why I practice these conditions. I like the harder condition than the calm winds, because then I can handle uh, what I need to... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean... That's the beauty of, uh, of, of, uh, of a flight simulator, isn't it? We can try all that. I like your music selection. Thank you, Agent. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of like... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a playlist called... Last Day on Earth Chill Ambient Playlist. <laughs> Which is uh, not too bad, actually. I kind of like it. So, full thoughts on the Bonanza after the flight. Shoot, accidentally closed the tab. Add now. <laughs> no worries, I'm waiting at the dev crew. Let me know when you're out. You often wrap up your flights right when I'm getting off work. Well, that's that's the issue, you know, with, with time zones, isn't it? I mean, sometimes I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm starting my day uh, by waking up and I have, for example, Kino the producer uh, doing his stream, or or uh, or Lindsay starting his stream. But it's night for him; it's day for me. Yeah, that's uh, and back. So my thoughts about the Bonanza. Honestly, it flies quite well. Um, I cannot say if it's really great or not because I'm pretty sure I did a lot of things very wrong uh, on that matter I'm curious to 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 check uh, with Vex Freeze what he thinks about it because I believe he did a, a stream uh, earlier about the Bonanza uh, so I'm curious to see what he thinks about it uh, but um, but yeah it's uh, it is quite interesting um, I mean, compared, for example, with the, the 414, uh, you have two handles for the throttle, two for the propeller, and two for the mixture. And with that one, I have two handles for the throttle, but one propeller and one mixture, which is weird, <laughs> honestly. But um, but yeah, it, it, it has only a one propeller compared to the 414, who has two propellers on each side of the wings. So. Obviously, the, there is less power, but um, but yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. It it handles quite well the the winds. Although when I had wind shear, it was quite very difficult to maintain the aircraft. Uh, but it has a lot of power on it in the engines. I could feel it uh, even if I'm not inside the aircraft in real life. I mean. When you have your aircraft, even if, if it's um, difficult to say that because um, we had quite a lot of, of headwinds and, and crosswinds, when the aircraft, for me at least as, a, as far as I understand, when the aircraft is doing like this, uh, it's not only because of the weather, obviously, it's also because I guess it has a lot of power, so it wants to climb, you know, the aircraft wants absolutely to climb and you are trying to to manage that. So yeah, I was constantly trimming my aircraft. Uh, but again, it, it is a very nice aircraft. Um, does it, is it worth the, 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 the 30, what is it, 33 euros, I think it was? I, I don't know, maybe, yes, I need to practice a little bit more the Bonanza to see uh, how 
how it goes when you know to fly it. I mean, it's not like, for example, the Cessna 152, we can clearly uh, see that I know how to fly it because I am obviously um, more confident with the, the 152 because I know it. Uh, I know what he's capable of and I know what to do when there is an issue. Uh, the Bonanza, obviously, that's the first time I, fl I fly it, so I'm. If, if, if I had uh, an engine failure, I'm just screwed <laughs> completely. Uh, well, I have the checklist, so that's okay, but I would be screwed. Isn't it just the interior uh, overhaul? Yeah, yeah, it's just the interior. Uh, the, the exterior, they, they can't actually uh, price it because that's the default model from Asobo. Uh, but that, that's the thing I'm... I'm curious how it works because they they manage to sell it by changing the interior sorry by changing the interior of the Bonanza default from Asobo but still the the exterior is not from them it's from Asobo so it, it is it is a weird agreement <laughs> let's say like this I guess they, they do have obviously an agreement with Asobo to do that. Uh, I guess I can you cannot just take their aircraft and do the interior and say hey voila that's okay without talking with Asobo. Uh, that that would that for, for me that would be stealing because yeah the exterior is not done by you. You only did the interior, so half of the product is not yours. So that's. Uh, but I guess they, they did some kind of agreement with Asobo, arrangement, uh, whatever, and... Um, but, yeah, I mean, I have all the Black Squares uh, aircraft. Uh, I have the, the, the King Air, the Bonanza now, and the other one was the um, Grand Caravan. So far, I like more the Grand Caravan and the King Air than the Bonanza, so far. Uh, because for the first flight I had a better experience with the two others than this one but again we did a flight between Nice and Geneva with very windy day so that's uh, I didn't have that much winds when I did the uh, King Air and the uh, the um, Grand Caravan so uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I had that happen just now to meet you the ad sucks when they are long yeah I that's the one thing that I don't like from Twitch. Uh, that's the, the the ads. I I mean I get it that uh, that streamers can earn something with those ads, but that that's very annoying. The, for me, that's very annoying. I prefer people to subs or do tips or donation to me than than earn it via the the, the ads. It, it feels more rewarding, you know, that uh, that someone give me a sub <laughs> or add us um, uh, subscribe to my channel with a sub or donation then getting in via that but yeah that's uh, I can I, I, I I'm uh, unfortunately cannot do anything about that but yeah I believe it's only partners that can do anything with the ads as an affiliate I'm just uh, blocked sadly uh, two, 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 two. two for the Mooney, three for the show, five to get ready, go, 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 or something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, well, Jesus, that's pricey, yeah. Yeah, it is. Seems a bit pricey then. Yeah, yeah, it, it is pricey, but I mean, even the King Air and the, um, and the Grand Caravan were about those price too, so it's, um, the, 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 the in some way i would have preferred that they um redo the exterior uh so that they could price it for the entire aircraft and um and you would have uh, the, the 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 possibility maybe to have the doors to open or things like that because you see, that's the thing that I don't like with the, the Black Squares one is that it's only the interior. So if you want to use, for example, GSX or things like that, well, you kind of bricks, uh, you kind of bricks already the, um, the the immersion with that because the, the door doesn't open. So that's uh, 
that's a bit frustrating for me but uh, that, that's how it is sadly but yeah that, that is frustrating the, the, the fact that you are blocked with that thing that's um, very sad All right, uh, let's see. Still don't know why Asobo didn't just do the doors, windows. Yeah, I mean, I still don't know too why why all the aircraft uh, uh, do, doesn't ha don't have actually windows and doors that can be opened. It's I mean, it's not like it's a huge thing to do. I, I don't ask them to do. Uh, a, a very huge great animation for that but i mean just having a click that open or start the animation of opening the door that's good enough i mean uh, again we are not asking for a huge thing but it's up to the developers now to do that instead of them i mean some somehow you know asobo <laughs> with with msfs and i don't know if people uh will uh understand the uh the the, the um, what i'm trying to say but um they kind of look like uh bethesda software uh you know uh the the guys who did um the the, the game um what's the name uh, ju -ju -ju. uh now i don't remember the name how is it called? Bethesda? Well, they did Elder Scroll, Elder Scroll, obviously, but there was another game that I like very much, and it was what was the name again? Let me check. Do, 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 do. Dishonored. Well, that's the one I was looking. Dishonored. They did Wolfenstein: The Evil Within, a very great uh, horror game, also. Um, and somehow, you know, they they. Bethesda are very well known for one thing, <laughs> at least for Elder Scrolls uh, games. Their games visually are awful, the gameplay is not that great, and it was always the third parties developers that did all the add-ons to make the game great, actually, by modifying everything in the game. And and somehow, Asobo looks like a bit like this, you know, it's... Uh, we need an aircraft. Now third parties go and do the beauty that we want, and you're like, what? That's that's not up to the third parties to do that. I mean, but yeah, that's. Um, but also, if you if you if you remember uh, the the GPL uh, the GP logistic uh, Cessna 152, uh, what they did uh, is a, the exact the exact same thing that. Uh, fly by wire they extracted actually their aircraft from the default and re-uploaded it as a new aircraft so normally you have the GPL logistics and the default one when you are uh, starting MSFS and the, 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 the fact that they did that uh, allowed them to uh, modify some things with the extras like the opening doors the um, putting the covers and things like that so but still it is freeware so they are not pricing anyone because they can't actually but something that I'm, I'm thinking uh, it's how because as a 3d artist obviously that's a question that we are always asked uh, ourselves if I if I was, for example, taking an Asobo uh, aircraft and I was ripping everything and redoing everything, how how Asobo would know that it's their model and not mine? I mean, I could do a, a very great job and have an aircraft that looks like very much their own and how they will know that's that's the thing I, I don't understand you know if I if I'm taking for example the, the, the Cessna 152 I could rip off the, the thing remove all the animation or whatever and redo everything by myself but still having the extra done uh, I don't know how Asobo is supposed to know that I uh, that it is, uh, is that's their aircraft it's uh, it's very 
very weird, you know, it's, it's so... I, I wouldn't try, obviously, because that's... Uh, if you are caught, that's bad. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I know, for example, for if you take Adobe, I know that for Adobe, they know because they put something in the code that let them know that you have um, a true license or not. <laughs> Obviously, they have to look if it's the case, but they can. But uh, but I don't know if Hasselblad did the same. Maybe it's uh, maybe in the meta the metadata, you know, of the aircraft in the, the model through the three D, sorry, the three D model. Maybe there is something that you cannot erase, and if they look at your model, they will instantly know that that's their aircraft, <laughs> and then you are screwed. <laughs> because if they sue you, Jesus Christ, you are very much screwed. I wouldn't be. Uh, going against Asobo because going against Asobo is going against uh, Microsoft's and oh boy you don't want to have um, Microsoft in your ass <laughs> you don't really want all right um, I'm gonna wrap up for tonight uh, I'm gonna see if tomorrow uh, I'm gonna uh, stream or not the uh, Freaky Friday. I have to see because um, uh, I don't know when I'm getting home from work. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll do something else than the MSFS. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I, c I could stream that Sonic Front as I, uh, as I was saying. We'll see. Um, that would be a premiere. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, everyone, uh, for coming, for following the flight. I hope you enjoyed that flight. I hope you enjoyed that uh, premiere uh, on my channel of the Bonanza uh, from Black Square. Uh, I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, have all a very great evening, a great day. If it's uh, the case, maybe you are from the US, so it's probably day at, the, at that point. And... Um, yeah, I shall see you next time. Goodbye, guys.